Hi guys, this is Pino of DFD Games uh, here to present you uh, our uh, component uh, that uh, uh, is meant to fade the occluders that are in between the camera and the, the actual player in uh, third person games or uh, top down games, uh, anything that uh, has to show the player on a camera and in a complex environment we have this problem. As you can see here uh, on the left hand side of my screen uh, I have a, a pretty uh, busy uh, demo level uh, with the player there in in the middle of all these cubes red and blue uh, and the camera uh, on purpose will be pretty pretty far away so that we can actually demo this uh, uh, in all his power. So uh, in this position at the moment the camera has no components on it so if I play this game obviously I see nothing. Okay. Uh, by the way this is uh, Unity 4 uh, but it works just the same in Unity 5. It is just Unity 4 because uh, uh, it's the lower end uh, version for publishing this in a way that can be used in both 4 and 5. So that's it. So uh, what to do to uh, actually implement our component? You select the main camera and you drop our script into it. That's pretty much it. Nothing else to do. Uh, if, you do you, if you really don't do anything else, uh, uh, as long as uh, you have the player which are the, uh, has uh, uh, been tagged correctly, you don't even have to feed the player transform and the player collider. Okay, if the tag is correct, so you just hit play and as you can see, now we can see the player. Nothing else to do. We can move around and no matter how many objects that we have in, uh, in the way, we can always see our player. Okay, now this would be already enough, but actually our component uh, allows us to do something even more fancy. Here, now the blue cubes uh, are in the layer blue cubes and the red cubes uh, have been put in the red cubes layer. Why? Why? Because uh, when we prepared this tiny script uh, we decided that uh, we needed to highlight in a different way different type of objects. Okay. And by the way uh, this works on any shader and material that you have. Okay. So don't really care how many materials are on your uh, objects and what kind of shader are used. So completely uh, compatible with whatever you want. So let's add another instance of uh, this script on the camera and let's say that the first one only works on the blue cubes and the blue cubes I want to, to this to be highlighted in yellow. And let's say that the second one will only operate on the red cubes and the red cubes, I want them to be highlighted in blue. Okay, so let's see what happens. Here we go. You see, here we have a blue cube, blue cube. So blue cubes are yellow. And the red cube will become that bluish thing. So let's go ahead, move it, move around. And as you can see, I have the red cubes that are highlighted. Well, <laughs> highlighted, low lighted, I guess, if that is even a word. Uh, anyway, they are uh, transparent but blue. Okay. Now, uh, this is pretty much it. Uh, there isn't really anything else to tell about this tiny script. Okay, so uh, well obviously you can decide how much of transparency you want to add. You, the, the default uh, is a set to 
76 as you can see here but uh, obviously you can change it to make them um, more transparent or less transparent depending on uh, what you want to do sometimes uh, uh, in certain situation you need more transparency sometimes less uh, it's up to you to decide uh, you can have a different uh, transparency level on, based on layers uh, exactly like the the color that we are showing so that's pretty much it, uh, and I guess that uh, you are gonna love it because uh, it is very handy. At least it has been very handy for us. So enjoy. Thank you for watching.